Recently, what was we going about? There's still school one that we talked about. That's two, three years ago. Like it was about to have a classroom class now, and that was the night she decided to show up. And that was and here we go, fans. The main event for the evening: Mark Rivera, the Mempo Mofo, cashing in his title shot, his guaranteed title shot. Here tonight at Brutal Games, the Mofo taking on Brandon Day. And now here's the thing, fans. You have to keep in mind: the Mofo is a fresh man. He's good to go, ready to go tonight. Brandon Day, on the other hand, has an injured eye and a freshly injured shoulder and just wrestled Cusick earlier in the evening. The man's been through hell and back in one day and now has to defend his title. Now you know what? This is what this could be Brandon Day's moment. If he can overcome the odds and defeat a fresh Mark Rivera, which he could very well do as the champion, is a champion's job to perform, and he may do that tonight. However, Mark Rivera, the Memphis Mofo, we know what he's capable of. We know what he does. And he's got Marcus Dowling at ringside. The odds are clearly in the favor of Mark Rivera. He's got everything going his way tonight. However, stranger things have happened. And you know what? I don't even say strange. Brandon Day is a fighting champion, a true champion, a true competitor. Can he overcome those odds tonight at Brutal Games? That remains to be seen, fans. A hush is over the crowd in anticipation for this main event matchup. Everything is on the line here tonight. The Raps are already having a rough night. Both Zach Hilton and Jeff Early going down in incredible contests. However, the leader of the Rapture, Mark Rivera, has a big shot at the title tonight. And here he comes, fans. The NWA Continental Champion, Brandon Day. He won this title back at Shanghai Showdown. And a wonderful match of the year candidate against Victor Griff and Damian Wayne. A man who's earned that title, earned the right to be champion, has defended that belt day in and day out. All competitors, big and small, one year in, five years in, ten years, it doesn't matter. He defended that belt against anybody who wants a shot like a true champion should. And tonight, tonight he proves his mettle. He proves why he is the champ. He's got everything going against him. A bad eye. A bad shoulder. Already a hard-fought match against Pat Houston. One of the top contenders in end of Fusion. But now he goes against a fresh man. A man who he will do anything to be on top. Mark Rivera, the Mempo Mopo. Spencer Chestnut, our general manager, had no choice but to make this match happen. He said he could not postpone the match. And, and here it is, fans. You're made of it. This Mempho Mofo.
Continental Champion, Brandon Day. Bravira has a microphone. Most people Yes. this way, Day. Don't do it this way. Day doing the right thing. Showing why he is a champion. And let me tell you fans at home something. Being a champion is more about wearing a belt. It's about dignity, honor, pride, respect. It's about putting butts in seats. It's about character. And if anyone's got character, damn it, it's Brandon Day. Joining me now in the booth, Spencer Chestnut. Spencer, what are you, what's your take on this, this this whole ordeal? My take on this is Brandon Day's a brave champion. He's a fighting champion. But Mark Bravura, I don't think that Brandon Day just happened to get attacked by A1. At the same time, he has to defend the title against Mark Bravura tonight. And that contract, that is the worst, most one-sided contract I've ever seen. I had no choice but to have this match, no matter what the circumstances were. But Brandon Day, showing the kind of champion he is, showing the kind of heart he has, refused to put this match off even after the mofo gave him a chance to. Showing the character of the champion. And you see, here's something to keep in mind. The right shoulder was attacked. The left eye of Brandon Day is injured. He's, he's screwed either way. He really is. He has a lot of injuries. And Mark Rivera has come back very recently from a broken collarbone, but that's had time to heal. That shoulder Brandon Day has had maybe a couple of hours to heal. Now, uh, Mofo's had months. He's been on the shelf, and he's just having only his second back match back here in NWA Fusion. And you got to think Brandon Day is going to be the worst for wear in this one. Brandon Day, the right shoulder, being put to work by Bravura. Bravura working right on that shoulder, but Day reversing it. Day, left hand. And Brandon Day, again, he's not going to give up. He's not going to back down. He's going to keep bringing it to you. And Mark Bravura may have gotten into something that he doesn't know how to handle. May have proverbially bitten off more than he can chew. But, 
I, I'm just I'm worried because Mark Rivera knows how to pick his spots, and I'm afraid that he's going to have a lot of an advantage tonight. Maybe an unfair one, but a, a big, big advantage. No question about it. Mark Revere, you know, he earned the title shot at Civil War. He's had that title shot for a long time and is cashing in right now. It is a smart move, but like we said, the premeditated attack by A1 to the right shoulder, like sharks to blood. Revere's got a huge advantage going into this. He sure does, and you know, because of that attack, I banned Marcus Dowling from ringside. Oh, there's the force court by Brandon Day. Brings Mark Revere right down to the mat. And Brandon Day is going to make sure that if he's got an injured arm, so does the Memfo Mofo. Big Superman punch by Day. Big drop. On a big by kick. Day. And Brandon Day for the cover. One. Oh, kicked out just at one. Now, you're not going to put Mark Revere away that easy. Now, back to what I was saying before. I banned Marcus Dowling from ringside because of those earlier attacks. But again, that contract for this match, the most one sided I've ever seen, said no matter what. Marcus Dowling is allowed at ringside. The match will take place tonight. And All of a sudden, he's going for the end of days. Mark Rivera blocks it. Time machine. Time machine by Rivera. One, two, no. And I bet Mark Rivera wishes he could go back in a time machine and hook that leg a little bit harder because he didn't quite get him. He calls it the time machine because when you wake up, you don't know where you are. It looks like Brandon Day has no clue where he is. He's knocked silly in that ring. Day up. Day is in the fireman's carry by Rivera. Day is down. Day kicked to the stomach. Day with the left. Day's got him up. Yeah, he He's made... going for the big move. No. Oh, Mark Rivera just barely slipped off. All right, he goes for another divorce court, running divorce court. I've never seen that before. He's got him right down on the mat. He goes for a quick cover. One, two. Oh, and Mark Rivera kicks out. Brandon Day. He is really focused right now on the arm of Mark Rivera. He's only got one arm. I think he's trying to even the score. As I mentioned earlier, uh, Spencer Chestnut, what, this is how when Brandon Day proves the type of champion he is. He has everything going against him. And if he can pull us out tonight, he will truly be one of the greatest champions in the history of this great company. I think he already is, but you're right. It would further cement his legacy as one of the greatest champions of all time here in NWA Fusion. Dowling is definitely the X factor on the outside. You could not count out a man like Dowling, a man who'll do anything to make sure his clients win. Yeah, Marcus Dowling sitting calmly on the outside now, but in a split second, that could change very quickly. Oh, almost a reverse hangman's neck breaker on the top rope. Oh, and here goes Brandon Day climbing to the top turnbuckle. Looks like he's gonna fly down on Mark Rivera. Here he comes, big, oh, frog, big splash. frog splash. Oh, and he landed, he landed partially on that injured shoulder. He's down and so is Mark Rivera. Who will be the first one to their feet? Who will make it up here tonight and walk away as champion as Day crawls across that ring with everything he has? Look at Brandon Day crawling to make that cover and Mark Rivera, again, smart. He has ring presence. He is a good athlete. Rolls right out of the ring. Now there's no question about that, Spencer. Mark Rivera, one of the top competitors in the NWA Fusion. One of the best pure athletes, one of the best ring generals. But I just don't agree with his attitude. I understand. I've always said I have great respect for Mark Revere as an athlete. I just don't have respect for him as a human being. No question about it. Rivera now getting out of the suplex. He's got day. What is this? What is this? Oh! 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 Face first on the entrance ramp. There is no gift to that. There is no gift to that entrance ramp. That is that was face high first. Impact. That is face first to hell. And you can see Marcus Dowling again very calmly, very coolly sitting on the outside of the ring right now. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, here he comes. No sooner do I speak of the devil than he shows his ugly head. I don't know. He's headed back towards the other side of the ring. But you got to think it won't be too long before Marcus Dowling gets involved in this one. Rivera first in the ring. Now, here's the thing. Rivera is the first in the ring. But he cannot win this by count if he wants to walk away champion. It is common knowledge that the belt does not change hands on count out for disqualification. That's absolutely correct. And Rivera knows he's got to get him back in the ring eventually. You see him rolling in back into the ring to break the count at eight or nine the first time. He may do it again. No, he's going to put him back in the ring now. Or maybe not. Mark Rivera, one thing about him, he will always keep you guessing. 
straight to work on that right arm, that right shoulder of day. The yeah, arm he, sure, he sure did do it. I thought he was going to do rolls in the ring and rolls right back out just to keep that count starting over again so that neither one of them gets counted out. The mofo now. Taking it straight to that shoulder. Rams his arm right against that steel ring post. Again, Brandon Day was injured before this match ever started. A brutal attack by A1 in an earlier match this evening. And Brandon Day bravely chose to fight. But right now, I'm not sure how wise that decision was. Ooh, now he pulls Bravura back and both their arms are hurting. That's one thing you got to keep in mind, Chestnut. We all saw that earlier, an earlier match. Brandon Day already has one match under his belt tonight. A victory, a hard-fought victory against a sadistic psychopath. Don't remind like me. Cusick, like Cusick. And after a match like this, he's taking on a fresh man like Bravura. And Bravura gives him a guillotine right across the top rope. Both of these men giving their all. They're leaving it all in the ring tonight, and some of it on the outside of the ring. But these two are giving everything they have for the top prize in NWA Fusion, one of the top prizes in the entire world of professional wrestling, that NWA Fusion Continental Championship. No question about it, Chestnut. Here we see Mark Rivera going straight to work on that right arm. It's been all over that right arm like a shark to blood. He goes, he's just all over it. He wants to break that arm, break that shoulder. Day is literally fighting with one arm here tonight. Yeah, Mark Rivera keeps saying there's no blood on his hands, but he sure does enjoy making people bleed. He sure does enjoy making people hurt. And Brandon Day is putting a hurt on Mark Rivera right now. Big shoulder block by Brandon Day. Off the rope, drop down by Mark Rivera. Oh, and a big clothesline. Big clothesline stops him in his tracks. Two count only, but I got to think it's going to be a little while before Brandon Day is able to even move, much less get up. Rivera making his way up now. Day will not stay down. Day will not. This just shows the fortitude of this man, of this champion, Brandon Day. Would you not agree, Spencer Chestnut? Oh, I absolutely agree. Ooh. And there's Rivera with a falling knee to the arm. Got him right in the shoulder with that knee. Arm lock applied. There's no quitting Brandon Day. No, oh, no, not at all. If he cranks that arm before, it may be Brandon Day passing out or Scott Williams stopping the match. But Brandon Day will die before he says, I quit. Yeah, I don't think he's going to give up. And Mark Rivera is about to find that out. And you can see it coming right now. Brandon Day getting that second win. Getting that inspiration from the fans and digging down deep. But Rivera pulls him right back down with that leg trip. Rivera now putting more pressure on that arm. Putting more pressure on that already injured shoulder. Dowling on the ringside. He's getting ready for this. He can taste that victory champagne. But Brandon Day has other plans for that. Yeah, Brandon Day is going to make Mark Rivera taste the back of his hand. I don't think he's worried about any champagne in here. But Mark Rivera trying to put this match away. He's got him in that arm lock, that key lock. And Brandon Day trying desperately to get out. The Rapture's watching, the whole world is watching. This could be the biggest night in the Mofo's life. And again, pulls him right back down to the mat. And like you said, I don't think you're gonna finish Brandon Day off by getting a pin or a submission this way, but you might just make him pass out this way. And that may be what Revere's going for. That may be what he's going for. And you know what, if Mark Revere makes Brandon Day pass out, we will never hear the end of it. That's true. Well, you never hear the end of Mark Rivera's mouth anyway, but God forbid he actually wins the title tonight. I'm not looking forward to being in the same place where he is for the next uh, few months at least. That's if he can defeat Brandon Day, which is yet to happen. And you know what you ask me? It's not going to happen. Day's a fighting champion. He exemplifies fighting spirit. He is a personification of what a champion should be. It's to take more than an injured shoulder, an injured eye, and an arm lock to take him down. That's true, but how much fight does he have left in him at this point? I mean, he has a lot of fight. He has a lot of heart. But it comes to a point where every man reaches his limits. I don't think Brandon Day's there yet. I'm just wondering if he can make it through this whole match and not reach his limits. Come back and beat Mark Rivera, which I think he's perfectly capable of doing. But even if he gets through this match, what kind of shape is he going to be in? What kind of shape of either one of these men going to be in? We've already seen some hellacious contests tonight where no man will be the same from. We've seen a strat match unsanctioned fight. We've seen a lot of things tonight. Could we see a new champion? That remains to be seen. 
We just might, or we could see a man defend his title twice in one night, which I don't believe has ever happened in NWA Fusion before. And certainly not have it sex successfully defended twice in one night. Brandon Day may become the first man to ever do that. And even though he's down right now, he is not out. We've talked about that intestinal fortitude, that heart, that courage, and Brandon Day showing it to you right now. Brutality as Brevera strikes the shoulder. Brevera now taking shoulder first into the turnbuckle. Brutality very appropriate for this show called Brutal Games, and everything tonight has been brutal. This is no exception. Day taking it straight, and it taken straight to him by the mofo. The mofo in the corner, just all over that shoulder. Pulls him out to the middle of the ring for the cover. Hunt Day kicks out at two. Very smart move by Mark Revere. He knew if he had him too close to the ropes, Brandon Day could stick his foot across the ropes, grab the ropes to break the pinfall attempt. He dragged him right to the middle of the ring. Didn't quite get him, but he's just stalking him. Just stalking Brandon Day in that corner. And as soon as Brandon Day gets up, I'm not looking forward to what might come next. Revere now. He's got the arm. Single arm DDT. Day is writhing in pain. Day, clearly in agony right now. Is enough going to be enough? I'm just speechless at this point. I, I really feel bad. I apologize to the fans. I apologize to Brandon Day. If I could have done anything to postpone this match and not have an injured Brandon Day fighting this match, I would have done it. Again, there was nothing I could do, and, and I hate to see a man possibly get hurt and injured because of this. Spencer, you can't blame yourself for this out of your hands. As a general man, there's only so much you can do when the law gets involved the way it did tonight with the contracts and legality of the contracts. But that, that's very true, but I still feel bad. Brandon Day looks like he, he could go out at any moment, but, I, but I'm still hoping. I'm hoping with these fans and with all the people here at NWA Fusion that Brandon Day can come back from this. He, we've seen him do it countless times before. When, it, when all seems hopeless, all seems lost, Brandon Day has come back from almost dead and won matches, won titles before. Yes. Maybe he can do it again. The mofo wearing down Day. Day to his feet. Day. Big left hand. And another. And another. But Revere right back to that shoulder. Clubbing for him right across the shoulder of Mark Revere. Ooh, and Brandon Day stops him with the punch. Here comes Day off the ropes. Slide to the legs. He's got him. Big back suplex. This could be the turning point in the matchup. Marcus Dowling beating furiously on the mat. It could be the turning point in the matchup. You're exactly right. Who's going to win this one? Day is now at his feet. Day with the one-armed Irish whip reversed by the mofo. Wait, the mofo's got it. He's got his arm. What's this? Brutal! Well, he just dropped Brandon Day's back right across his knee. Probably got some of his shoulder, too. Brandon Day... Oh, he looks like he's out. Day I, is I, down. You can barely see him still breathing. So referee Scott Williams does have the authority to stop this match at any time. He has chosen not to do it. He has that authority. I just hope he wouldn't have let it in that way. Oh, he's got a rolling arm bar right there. The arm lock applied. Day is, Day is in the middle of the ring. His arm's been injured by A1 already. He is trapped in that arm lock. And in addition to giving up, which Day has the option to do, he's got a, he can't forget, which he's done a couple times. He's going to get it out of the two, but if he leaves his mat, uh, if he leaves his shoulders on the mat a second too long, you can get pinned in any hold, even a submission hold, if your shoulders are down. He needs to be aware of that. Now, Spencer Chestnut, you've managed champions in the past. I sure have. If you imagine Brandon Day tonight, what do you tell Brandon Day? I would tell Brandon Day that most of the time, his heart... His courage, being a strong technical wrestler, is a good thing and an honorable thing. But tonight, with Bavira pulling what he's pulling, with Marcus Daly being out there, I'd say fight fire with fire. I'd say go out there, use any tactic you can to heck with your honor and your technical skill right now as much as you might need to use it. Fight fire with fire. And there he goes. Roll up. One. See, I'd tell him, you know, at this point, if Revere's going to act like this, yank some tights on that pinfall attempt. Maybe gouge an eye if you need to. He's done it to you. Desperate times go for desperate measures to Spencer Chestnut is set. 
But if Brandon Day will stick to those measures, we still don't know. But Day has just proven this match can change in three seconds. All it takes is three seconds. End of days! End of days! Oh, he's got it. He's got it at the end of days. He might go cover him again. I, I, at this point, with what Bevere has been pulling, I'm not above Brandon Day using any tactic he could, but Brandon Day may be above it, and he may not need to use any other tactic other than his finishing move the end of days if he can just get over and make the cover. The tech he needs to do now is get up and cover Mark Bevere. The end of days has led him to victory so many times. So many times. Could this be? Left hands. The right hand. Right hand again. Headbutt, headbutt again. Brandon Day with his free, with his healthy arm, taking to the mofo. Big clothesline. Big clothesline again with a healthy arm. Big drop kick. And a big drop kick. He's got Brevere Bound. I mean, you've heard the old cliche, a one-legged man in the butt kicking contest. Brandon Day's a one-armed man in the butt kicking contest, and he's winning. Absolutely he is. Dowling at ringside. He's got to be furious about this. Close line. He's, he, Marcus Dowling is worrying me at ringside because Marcus Dowling is too calm. He's too collected. And, and you got to keep your eye out for Marcus Dowling. He's just been kind of taking in the whole match very calmly. And that's not a trait I'd associate with Marcus Dowling. Calm. And the crowd's not calm right now. They are up in arms. Fans have both been in this building. You can hear some cheers for the mofo, which he won't acknowledge or accept. He has some cheers for Brandon Day. But Brandon Day, right across in the corner, big elbow stops him in his tracks. Day stopped his tracks. Bervira now. He's locked in by Day. Going off. Big oh. move by Brandon Day. Hit him with a float over neck breaker there. Going for the cover. One, two, and... Oh! I thought he had it. So close. Two and so 31, close. 30 seconds right there. It was that close. So close. Brandon Day almost overcame everything to defeat the mofo and walk out of here as champion. The crowd firmly behind Brandon Day here tonight, fans. End of days. He's going for it again. If he gets it this time, I don't think there's any way the mofo kicks out. And Revere again with some forearms to the back. He's able to get out of a temporary going right back to that injured shoulder. And another rolling arm bar. He's got him. He's got it locked. Can it, this be it? It could, might be. Could we crown a new champion here at NWA Fusion? Day is locked in the arm breaker. Revere has it cinched in. Almost reversed on him there. He almost reversed him right into a pending combination. And there's another big clothesline for Mark Revere. Both men back down on the mat, but Revere... He's looking a little less the worse for wear. He may get up here pretty soon. It looks like he's going to. You can cut the tension with a knife here, fans, as Mark Rivera is now standing. This is either man's fight now. It really is. They've always been two evenly matched competitors. And there goes Mofo is picking him up. Brandon Day reverses. And a big DDT. DDT from Brandon Day. And he rolls over. And he's got he's, him in. He's got him in. The cutthroat clutch. Yes, he does. The, the cutthroat, cutthroat clutch. 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 This could be it. This could be it. Brandon Day overcoming the odds here tonight, fans. This could be it. Will the mofo tap out? He's right in the middle of the ring. He's crawling with all he's got. Will he be able to get to the ropes? Uh, inches inch, away. Inches away. Oh, he got him. He got him. I thought he might have to tap out just inches away from the ropes, but he was barely, barely able to get to the ropes. Both men down. Both men have given their all. Both men worthy enough to be called champions at this point. However, Day gets to his feet first. Can the champion retain? I think we're going to find that out sooner or later. Both men have just given it their all. I think they got to be at the point of exhaustion right now. And it goes Premier up. Memphis oh. Mafia kick! Memphis Mafia kick! My God, Red West and Sonny Tyler would be proud right now. The Memphis Mafia kick. Oh, and a kick out by Brandon Day. Barely, barely kicked out. So close. We've had so many, not even near falls, but almost their falls in this match. Both men, it's a testament to them. 
They're willing to keep this going. They're willing to do whatever it takes to win the NWA Fusion Continental Championship. The mofo is up. The mofo is in control. He's got Brandon Day up. He's got him the fireman's carry. Day now. Big DDT. Another DDT. And he's going back for that cutthroat clutch. Does he have it? Yes, he does. Marcus Dowling. Marcus Dowling at ringside. I think he just grabbed the belt. He did. He grabbed the NWA Continental Championship belt. Dowling has the title. I told you it'd only be a matter of time before he got involved. Why does Dowling have the title? There's no need for it. And he stole the belt right from the ringside table, and he's put it under the ring. The title is at ringside under the turnbuckle. Dowling's there. This is a huge factor in the match. Rivera now runs it, misses the mafia kick. He misses it, and now, but now Marcus Dowling's got that belt back in his hands. Oh, and he ran his injured shoulder right into the turnbuckle. Big super kick by Day. Super kick by Day. Mark Bavuri is down and watch down. Dowling! Watch down. No. Oh. Every single time. With the belt. Hit him right with the belt the right in the head. Memphis and there's Mafia another Memphis Mafia arm. kick to the shoulder. And, and another, another one right to the head. One, two. We got a new champion. I can't believe this. We I got can't a believe new this. Champion. The age of the mofo has begun. The winner of this match. And Mofo has begun, fans. Mark Bravura is victorious. Mark Bravura, the Mempo Mofo, is your new NWA Continental Champion. You know what, fans? Taking nothing away from Brandon Day, a great champion, great competitor. He gave everything he had. Dowling played the X Factor. But nevertheless, when the smoke clears tonight, we have a new champion. The Mempho Mofo, along with Marcus King Kong Dowling in his corner, and the Rapture behind his back, is the new champion. Bravura, victorious. As Dowling puts the title around him, this makes me sick. You know, Bravira, as we said earlier, tremendous competitor, great athlete. If any man deserves a shot, it's him. But to win the title in the way he did with the assist from Dowling is sickening, is disgusting, is downright fault, if you ask me. Brandon Day, a fighting champion, a fighter's champion, a man who exemplifies class, professionalism, and what it means to be a champion. Robbed, robbed of the title by the mofo. Fans, like it or not, the age of the mofo has begun. The age of Mark Rivera has begun. Dark times have begun for NWA Fusion. I don't I don't want to believe it, but I have no choice but to believe it. The age of the mofo has begun. <laughs>